All right, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I normally do not make uh, two videos in a day. That's just weird. It doesn't feel right. So what happened was uh, this morning I looked at my Google Docs. The page was blank. And I said to myself, you got to have good habits. you got to have good writing habits. And sure enough, I, I incorporated good writing habits. And, uh, <laughs> but, so, you know, I came up with uh, some dark watch secrets. But then... I had some bad technology habits. What happened was I used this very, here, let's put this in here. I used this very short tripod, and I think my camera was too too close to the watches. So uh, it created focusing problems, and this appears to be better. Uh, the Seiko Captain Willard here on an original gray strap. Uh, I was saying that I could not find a good match for this Willard and then I realized, you know what? The uh, original Tropic, in gray, not black, in gray, really uh, is the best match I've ever come up with this. In fact, one of you asked me, what should I get for my word? I can't find a, uh, a match for it. And I said, get the OEM uh, 300 waffle for it. My only thing there is what I should have told the gentleman. You're going to want to put that in a mug of uh, boiling water for 20 minutes to soften it up. If you want pure comfort, I should have also recommended this gray original Tropic. So why the gray and not the black? So the black, for me, it matches too much with the black dial and with the black bezel, and it's just blah. I, there's just enough subtle contrast with the uh, the gray, and I want you to see this pudgy side. So I'm a little more confident with the uh, the big tripod. This camera needs to have some distance from the uh, from the watch, so I hopefully this will remedy the problem. I really do apologize. I had great content this morning, and I ruined it. I, part of me wants to delete the whole video, but then you know what? I don't know. Anyway, you know what? Here's here's I'll do a compromise. I'm not going to delete the video, but here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to revisit my dark watch secrets. I'll revisit. In fact, it will be maybe an ongoing series because I, I'm sure I did not give you my complete list of uh, of watch secrets. So that's what we'll do. I'm not going to delete the video. I'm going to apologize right now for the crappy focus crappy focus <laughs> and uh so let me let me tell you uh my black tropics i still have two of them i love them on my uh my 62 moss watches this is the gray dial the 143 and i love the way the black uh tropic okay no, i'm gonna have a flashback <laughs> so i love the way the black uh Tropic contrasts with the uh, gray dial. It's this is this is a keeper right here, and then I have another uh, 62 Moss, the Gilt, and I should keep this here for, as I talk. And I love the way the the black contrasts with this. And so I have eight watches. Three of them have original Tropics on them, and and I that's that's saying a lot to the original makers of Tropics. See, where did I buy my uh, Tropics from? I got them from uh, Long Island Watch. I, I believe the gentleman who runs that operation, he goes on TGV sometimes. And that's where I get them. And uh, think about that. I've got eight watches. They're all on straps. And 40% of them are on the original Tropic. You know, the original Tropic is a very uh, significant um, product for me as a watch hobbyist who, uh, who's wearing nothing but uh, straps right now. So, I just, I have to clarify, do I, am I the post bracelet watch guy? And the answer is no. I was thinking about that. I'm not, I'm not opposed to bracelets. I'm not opposed to bracelets. What I was thinking of, what a more accurate label for me as a 60-year-old dude right now, I'm the retro watch guy. I love retro. So, you know, your, your Tropic strap just looks retro. I love it. I love the waffle. I love um, 
you know, my, my straps on my Seiko watches, they just look really retro. So I'm not opposed to bracelets. I'm the retro guy. When I hear really good music, uh, a song that makes me really happy, Trash Can Sinatra's 1990, Obscurity Knocks, that song makes me so happy. And it, that happiness, that longing reminds me of the feeling I get when I fall in love with a watch. And uh, you probably didn't hear the Trash Can Sinatras, even though they were supposed to be the great band from Scotland. I'll tell you why you didn't hear from them. Because grunge hit, hit the uh, world at the same time. Nirvana. And that whole style of grunge and the flannel shirts and the Nirvana sensation drowned out the indie pop band, the Trash Can Sinatras. So you probably never heard of Obscurity Knox. But for me, uh, it's my favorite song from the 90s, Makes Me Happy. From the 90s. Well, if you want to go to the 70s, then you gotta go to Sweet Thing by Shaka Khan, but that's all has to do with the hot tub party that I'm not allowed to talk about. Now, um, I am not opposed to bracelets. I'll tell you what. My birthday's in six months. A little over six months. I'll be 63. And I'm really not in a rush to buy any watches right now. I am not a post bracelet guy. I'm not I, I could get a bracelet again. I'm more of a retro guy. I'll tell you the watch I would, I, I might get. I could either stay, com I could be a completist, I could be a Seiko completist and have nothing but straps and get an SLA 043 in October. Those would run me about 2,500 used. And that's the only way you can get them. You can get them used. Or I could actually have a bracelet. There's another retro watch, a luxury watch, the Tudor Black Bay 58 or the 41 with a black dial, the gilt accent. I know the Mad Watch Collector has the Black Bay 58. He has it both in gilt and blue. I wouldn't get it in blue. It has to be gilt because the gilt one is the retro. And, uh, I, you know, honestly, I probably have to go into the watch store. I know the 41 fits my wrist. My wrist is almost 8 inches. I don't know if the 58 would be big enough. I don't know, but that's a retro watch. I'm more... I'm not I'm not opposed to bracelets. I'm just more the retro watch dude. So this is the guilt. I think I I think I solved the problem from this morning. You gotta realize, man, it was seven in the morning and I came up with the content, my family was asleep. I should I should have thought it out. I will never use that short tripod again. Ruined everything. I heard rumors I was kicked out of the international watch community. Forgive me. <laughs> <laughs> All right, come on, you're like Larry Sanders uh, begging the audience for forgiveness. No, no flipping, no flipping. All right, ladies and gentlemen, until next time, I'm out.